think that I'm like most people. I put my psychedelic slippers on one foot at a time. I've always felt a great war inside between what is and what should be. So let's check in. What is now? I feel tired, slow and cold. I want to stay in bed and cozy up with the cat. On the other hand, what should be? I don't have a plan for where I want to be in the coming months, years or decades. And truthfully, I've only just accepted that I want to still be here at all. I should be enjoying my life of simplicity and creativity, but I don't. Having a job, a house, kids and responsibilities is what I thought life was about. Instead, it's become apparent that, for me at least, life is more about accepting myself, my limitations and finding a positive way to move through. What is? It's cold, it's early and I can barely feel my fingers. But the sun is also shining and the sky is blue. I don't have much energy, but I have enough to get out of the house and go for a walk. What should be? I'm not sure, but I think I might be doing this one right. I'm currently on medical leave from work, so my life focus is getting my head and my health right. So I think a morning beachside walk is technically what the doctor prescribed. It's a small win, but I take them when I can. I enjoy living near the water. It feels safe and comforting. From here, it's a calming horizon of currents and waves. But under the surface, it is hiding a plethora of secrets, stories, and deep dark mysteries that we may never know. Something like the ocean and all it contains is a perfect example of both what is and what should be. It's easy to forget how pretty the world is when your inside world is so dark. I enjoy winter more than summer because there's no pressure to see the outside world. When it's sunny, I feel like I have to go outside, I have to breathe the air. And if I don't, I'm disappointed in myself. When the days get short and gloomy, hibernating seems much more acceptable. Oh, look, a mushroom. Where do we draw the line, though? Do we listen to our bodies and act intuitively? Or should we follow the norm of social stigmas and deny our internal selves? It's an unanswerable question, and in my mind, each of us have to find our own acceptance with that. Carpe diem? More like seize my sanity. Now today we have aligned ourselves well and we can find a happy balance between what is and what I feel I should be. It's a great opportunity to get moving early and attempt to get a few things done today. And even if I accomplish absolutely nothing else, at least I went out for a walk and took in the scenery. This exercise, both physical and creative, is a beautiful thing. Today I feel like the main character setting a scene for an epic film of adventure, growth, and identity. I've been conditioned to believe that cinema must be produced with intent, meticulous planning. This thought holds me back from creating because I don't feel like my methods are how it should be. But today, it is what it is. I'm trusting my eye and my creativity in the moment, and I think I may have gotten this one right as well. I work better in the moment, on the fly, and within the inspiration, rather than executing from a formed idea. The next stop is going to be the coffee bus with my buddy Nils. A good coffee and a good chat always helps with a bit of perspective. Morning, beautiful. Morning. Thank you. I have held myself back too often because of the way that I feel things should be done. Rather than how I best do, it's a round square trying to fit into a triangle situation. We each have our own pace, our own strengths and weaknesses, and I believe that it is our purpose to find those things and understand them better. While relaxing and enjoying my coffee, me and Noah spotted a little friend over by the water. A seal pup on the seawall rocks. I moved in close to make sure that it was okay, and it seemed to be rather relaxed, enjoying its time under the tree. The seal pup is not where we think that it should be, but it is where it is, and that has brought it into my path. We're just two oblivious beings trying to get by. Go well, my seal friend, go well.
Heading home and nearing the end of my morning venture, I made another new friend, Nina the Kitten. She's very playful and seemed rather sad to see me go, but I shall return for more pats one day, everyone. I battle daily with what is and what should be. Sometimes I win and sometimes I lose. But I'm grateful for today, and I hope that I can leave you all with this. Do what you can. Do it when you can. Listen to yourself and remember to take it one day at a time. Stay hazy, my friends. Be kind to each other, and I'll see y'all soon.